So remember, a field with a finite number of elements is called a Galois field. And so the question you've got to ask yourself is, self, what does a Galois field look like? So remember the key properties for a field, plus and times are commutative. There's an additive identity, which we call zero. There's a multiplicative identity, which we call one. Every element has an additive inverse. Every non-zero element has a multiplicative inverse. For a, b, and c in our field, a times b plus c is a, b plus a, c. And there's a few useful propositions. One, the identity uniqueness, the additive and multiplicative identities in a field are unique. And there's product and sum uniqueness. If b is not equal to c, then a plus b is not equal to a plus c. And as long as a is not our additive identity, a times b is not equal to a times c. So let's find the addition and multiplication tables for a field of two elements. Since a field needs to contain an additive identity 0 and a multiplicative identity 1, then our field needs to contain the elements 0 and 1. And remember we've shown that if a field contains more than one element, then the multiplicative and additive identities must be distinct. And since they have to be distinct, our field contains just the two elements 0 and 1. So let's produce that multiplication and addition table. So for addition, because 0 is the additive identity, we know that 0 plus 0 is 0, and 1 plus 0 is 1, and 0 plus 1 is 42, um, 1. Now, because this is a field, 1 must have an additive inverse. We have to add something to 1 to get 0. Well, we've already determined that if we add 0, we don't get 0. We actually get 1. So the only other choice for the additive inverse of 1 is 1 itself. And so we must have 1 plus 1 equals 0. We can form our multiplication table in the same way. Because 0 is the additive identity, we know that 0 times 0, 1 times 0, and 0 times 1 are all equal to 0. And because this is a field and 1 is not the additive identity, then we know that 1 must have a multiplicative inverse. So 1 times something has to give you 1. Again, the only choice we have for our something is 1 itself. And so we know that 1 times 1 must be 1. And that gives us the addition and multiplication table for a field with two elements. Now, we know that the integers under addition and multiplication mod n form a field with n elements if and only if n is prime. So the real question is, are there other fields with a prime number of elements? And in fact, no. And as it turns out, suppose a field has p elements where p is prime. Then the field is isomorphic to zp. So the fields with the prime number of elements aren't very interesting. We know all of them. So the important question is, what if you don't have a prime number of elements? Or let's find the field with four elements. So our elements have to be the additive identity 0, the multiplicative identity 1, and two other elements which in a fit of creativity we'll call A and B. And we'll set up our addition and multiplication tables. Now since 0 is our additive identity, we know that 0 plus anything or anything plus 0 will be unchanged. So that gives us the first row and first column of our addition table. We also know that for all a, a times the additive identity is going to give us the additive identity. So that gives us the first row and first column of our multiplication table. But wait, there's more. Remember that 1 is our multiplicative identity, and multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything. So that actually gives us the second row and second column of our multiplication table. And since we know more products than sums, we'll complete our multiplication table first. 
So, looking at our multiplication table, we need to find AA, AB, and BB. So remember, products have to be distinct. And since we know a times 0 is 0, and a times 1 is a, then aa can't be 0 or a, it must be b or 1. But if a times a is 1, then a times b has to be b, and that's going to make a the multiplicative identity. But the multiplicative identity is unique, and so a can't be the multiplicative identity, so a times a can't be 1. It's got to be equal to b, which means that a times b has to be the identity. And since multiplication in a field is commutative, b times a is also equal to the identity. And since the products must be unique, b times b must be equal to a. Now addition is harder. We need to find 1 plus 1, a plus 1, b plus 1, a plus a, a plus b, and b plus b. So the uniqueness of sums says that a plus 1 could be 0, a, or b. So let's think about this. If a plus 1 is equal to 0, let's consider the product b times a plus 1. Well, if a plus 1 is 0, that's really just b times 0. And remember, in a field, the distributive property has to hold, so b times a plus 1 must be b times 1 plus b times a. Now, b times 0 is 0. b times 1, well, that's b. And b times a, well, that's going to be 1. And so we know that b plus 1 is 0. But then a plus 1 is equal to b plus 1, and so a is equal to b. And since a and b are supposed to be distinct elements, this can't be true. And so whatever a plus 1 is, it can't be 0. What if a plus 1 is equal to a? Well, if a plus 1 is equal to a, then 1 is the additive identity, which is impossible. So a plus 1 can't be a, and this leaves only a plus 1 equal to b. What about b plus 1? Well, b plus 1 is either 0 or a, but if b plus 1, we have again a times b plus 1. And by commutativity, we have b plus 1 equal to a plus 1, and so a equals b, which is impossible. So b plus 1 has to be a, which means that 1 plus 1 has to be 0. So what about a plus a? Either a plus a is 0, or a plus a equals 1. If a plus a is equal to 1, then again, the product b times a plus a, that'll be... But since our additive identity has to be unique and it's not b, this is false. So a plus a must be 0. And again, the uniqueness of the sum means that a plus b is 1, and b plus b has to be 0. Now, one important thing to notice here is that once we decided what our additive and multiplicative identities were, then we had no choice in how we assign these sums and products, which means that this is the only field with four elements. Any other field is isomorphic to this one.